at something titled The Christians of This Age. It is uh, something like a series we were doing. And uh, on Friday, we laid the basis of it. We were looking at uh, what is secularism, what brings about secularism. Then we went further and looked at, in this secularism world, how do we ought to respond? And today we are taking it a much higher by looking at media and secularism. Praise be to God. Because you will find that there is a very big correlation between media and the secular world and Christians. Amen. These are the three things that we have to come across as Christians. Now me begin by saying that there is something that God says about what we look at. Because I will not go to the definition of social media and may God bless the editorial board. Amen. Amen. That was wonderful. I've just read the, the flyers here and it was amazing. Praise be to God. So they have done part of the job for me and I like that. So I will not define social media. If you didn't know, please ensure you read that bulletin. It will help you. Amen. But I will say that what are the God's thoughts on media and entertainment? You will realize that Jesus does not, or he did say, listen to this or listen to that. Amen. But then his word offers us guidance as to how we should monitor what influences us. Praise be to God. So it is not crystal clear on what the Bible says about what you should listen to. But the Bible has given guidance on what we should take care of to ensure it influences us. Or we should monitor what influences us. We are taking our reading from uh, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. I've quoted my scriptures but I know the media will be also helping us. Now, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, the Bible says, Keep your heart with a diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Praise be to God. Keep your heart with a diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. And then Colossians chapter 2, verse number 8. Colossians chapter 2, verse number 8. The Bible says, Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Praise be to God. Amen. Beware, because beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And I think on Friday we, we got a chance just to, to look at how sometimes philosophy has contributed a lot to our faith. Praise be to God. And it has contributed to how we believe in God. And lastly, our last verse before, although we shall have other verses, is Psalms 101, verse number 3. The Bible says, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. Praise be to God. That I set nothing wicked before my eyes. So in other words, what it says, it is you and me to determine what we see. Praise be to God. It is you and me to determine what we hear. And lastly, it is you and me to determine after we have seen and heard what we see. Praise be to God. Aligning our choices with a biblical worldview means that our choices will be, will run countercultural. Praise be to God. Because there is the culture of the world and there is the culture of the kingdom. So definitely when we align ourselves with the biblical view, you can be assured that at some point we shall have cultural conflicts with the culture of the world. When I used to So when we are looking at this social media because it is what we see, I know, I believe we have social media handles People are in IG, people are in Facebook, people are in Twitter, and so on. TikTok is now on the rise. In this 
Twitter handles, in these social media handles. When you look at it, and I love what somebody said here before, that when you look at, and I saw it even in the bulletin, a wonderful one, that when somebody will log in into your social media, who shall see? Who shall they see? When I saw see it. I was telling the elders during the elders day, I think, a few months ago. And we were looking at career development and character development. And he was saying, when employers call for an interview, and you go to a serious interview, before they call you, the panel does research, praise be to God, and they do a background check on who is this person. And they will log into your account, and they find the chairman, Amejita Okoko, a.k.a. Emoda. <laughs> that is the title of his account. <laughs> Praise be to God. Then they go further, they look at what you post. Because the fact is, what you post says a lot about what you believe and who you are. Praise be to God. The kind of pictures that you post. And I loved the question I saw in the bulletin. That suppose somebody goes into your handle, we need to challenge them to become better. Praise be to God. When I saw the field. Hello. I know I'm friends with a number of people here in Facebook. Praise be to God. Because it speaks a lot. So, we want to see how this media influences Christians on a negative side. Because, you know, media can be a great tool when it comes to evangelizing and prospering the matters of the kingdom. But then, at the same time, this media can affect us negatively. Number one, it allows room for secrecy. When I saw see you. Media gives room for a secret sin. Social media is a perfect breeding ground for secret sin. Amen. And by the fact that media gives us room to hide our accounts because I can have an account, but somebody may not know that it is me. Amen. And you know, nowadays what people do, they will get a famous person, they open an account in their name, they post that, the picture of that person as the profile picture. And you know, people will be glad, oh, this is Uru Kenyatta. <laughs> From since when did you see Uru Kenyatta giving you room to send a friend request? <laughs> Praise be to God. The best you can do is to follow. Amen. But then you get the, and then he gets thousands of followers. And then now he changes to their account. So you can find that is even your neighbor you are seated with, is the one of an account that you don't even imagine of. <laughs> when I saw see you, there is an official account that you give to people, and there is another one in the way of the The fact that Google doesn't display the things we look at every day, it gives room for us to commit sacred sins. Praise be to God. Because we shall be encouraged that nobody sees what we are doing. And I was challenging people on Friday that if we go to your Google history and we look at the pages you opened yesterday night, will you be comfortable for us to read? But I just feel it is a question for you. It is a room for secret sin, and Ephesians 5:13 tells us to be transparent with our dealings. And it says that, but all these things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light. Praise be to God. And the fact is, as Christians, we should be guided that no matter how much we might hide, we might hide to human beings, but we can never hide to God. Praise be to God. And borrowing from what the creativity did, the chairman, when he met the new convert, the chairman seemed to be a good man. Praise be to God. And this new convert was seeing every hope of this new man. But then God in his mysterious way 
He brings the convert when the chairman is in the midst of a crisis. Praise be to God. Now we see the other character of the chairman that is not known to the congregation. Praise be to God. And it is a challenge to all of us that let us strive to ensure when our personal life shall be exposed, we shall not be ashamed of the things that we do. Praise be to God. That when somebody will log into that Facebook account, when somebody looks at that Twitter, he will not be ashamed to say, we will jump. And you know, in that video, there are a lot of things that pop there. Praise be to God. Because as much as you may try to have a number of restrictions, a number of things will be popping there. And the Tuko is one link that works so well. I love in a letter to her. And I saw the other day, uh, after the Nairobi debate, I saw a number of memes. A number of them. You know, lest we forget we are Christian. You will find down that, you know the comment section. We are this little comment here in the comments. You will the post. I just commented. But what do you comment? Yeah? God and it allow me one. That is who? Is equal to wait if I say Praise be to God. The second thing that media does is that handled the wrong way, it will steal our precious time. Praise be to God. Handled the wrong way, it will steal our precious time. And I began with that statement, handled the wrong way. Meaning, handled the right way. Media can be a very great tool can, that can impact us positively. Praise be to God. Some people have used media to reach to the world. Some people have, reached, have used media to earn a living. People have used media to impact and influence the people around them. There are a number of speakers we know today, but we have never met them. Amen? Is it true or not? It is because they have used media, and through that, we have seen and we have understood. They have influenced our lives. Praise be to God. Because I know if I ask each and every one of us, there is that one person that you look up to. That whenever you log in into your account, whenever you log in into your YouTube, when you hear that person speaking, you just feel you are blessed. Praise be to God. I have one person when I'm in my lowest moment and I just tune in. Two statements from that person are enough to rekindle me back. Praise be to God. They have influenced us the right way. But we are saying if it is used the wrong way, it will steal our precious time. Now, research says an average user spends about two hours on social media a day. But young people use eight hours a day, or even ten hours a day. Praise be to God. You will never see them online. And we are not judging you neither, because you might be doing something constructive. Praise be to God. I want to say that uh, those two hours will be spent on something more productive. Exercise, spending time with family, studying, working, catching some well needed sleep. Amen. Ladies in the house, one is You know, ladies are one. There's creatures who can sleep 16 hours out of 24. <laughs> Praise be to God. They sleep in the afternoon, they wake up at 6, they cook supper, and by 7 30, they will tell you I'm sleeping. <laughs> Praise be to God. Bible reading, eating, or even finding an extra source of income. Praise be to God. Those two hours, they are enough. But remember, the devil's job is to steal, kill, and do what? And let's go. So you will get your attention for the two hours. Praise be to God. And remember, we were seeing last time on Friday that the devil's focus is to ensure you are distracted from focusing on God. And one of the biggest tools they will use to distract us is the social media. Don't expect a devil to come in the form of a monster. Don't expect a devil to come in the form of a three-horned person in the head with big eyes. The devil comes in the form of a human being. 
The devil can come in the form of a social media. Praise be to God. There are various forms that a devil can come. Amen. And therefore, he can come in those two hours and he will use the two hours. Because you will feel like, okay, let me become a Wi-Fi. And you know that time when you need to be in the fellowship, your Wi-Fi is strongest. <laughs> I don't see people around uh, a complex, the Google Home Vision. And then on your way to Kisumundoga, people are there. Wow. And then on the other side, the fellowship is going on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then you look at the downloading speed, 2 MBs per second. Praise God to God. And you say, you know, I, I can listen from this side. I can listen from? That is now the other thing that will come. You know, on a schedule, so you want to do the and on the But you are on your phone. Praise be to God. It steals our time. I'm sorry to say, even in the church, don't answer me this. How many of us WhatsApp while we are in the church? Don't answer me this. But it is the truth. Is it not happening? It is happening. You are in that news feed. When I scroll to watch Ayla Yamalisa Kosa Pataka. So let me let me look at this. Yeah. Let me look at this. Praise be to God. And we are in the church. I do ask somebody. When you are in an interview, can you pick a phone call? Can you WhatsApp? Can you go to Facebook? What happens to you? Even when you are, you will get to the corporate world. When we are in meetings, you cannot even dare. Praise be to God. Then how much do we honor God? Unless we are careful, the devil is still in our time. And slowly by slowly, we are getting to the secular world. Number three, it pollutes the mind. The third thing about media is that it pollutes the mind. Amen? Posts on social media can pollute the mind. With all the kind of things being posted, shared, broadcasted, and spread through these avenues, the mind can only take so much. Buona eso because, you know, the fact that we are in social media, we cannot control what every and other friend posts. See, you? Can we control what they post? But we, we will always see. See, you? So, kaka atakuja ataweka mambo yake pale, mwikina atakuja weke yake, na mini itafanya nini? Itaweka. So, what is there now is how I regulate myself on what I see. How is the speed of your finger when it comes to scrolling rate? Praise be to God. So you know when you are in that IG, you hold. Okay? You are in that news feed, then you see something, you hold. Okay? Then you proceed. Uh -huh. Yeah? So you will find as much as a lot is posted, what we see will pollute us. And you will find that today there is so much filth spreading in social media. What I so feel. Christians, especially men, need the courage to close the tabs on the browser and exit the page. Praise be to God. I do tell Christians, you have the power to accept, delete, and terminate whoever who is your friend. Praise be to God. Yes, the Bible says that everybody can be. You love everybody, but not everyone can be what? Can be your friend. It is that time you need to take a bold step. Yes, I know you don't want to close that account of 5,000 friends. But you can always begin again. Praise be to God. And you say now, I will only allow the people that I know. Praise be to God. It is very much possible. So that you control what influences you. When somebody friend requests you, is a man. For example, the profile picture is of a lady who is half naked. And you give an okay. What kind of post do you expect to see from that person? Praise be to God. And that is how we shall be influenced. I'm not saying that we become so spiritual again. 
Praise be to God. Because you know, I know brothers, we can become so spiritual. But then, that only people who have a Bible verse as their profile pictures, they are the only ones I can accept. <laughs> Philippians 4.8 tells us what we should dwell on. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. When I see the film, the Bible is said, meditate on those things, things that are true, things that are noble, things that are just. Praise be to God. When you look at those things, are they true? Are they just? Are they pure? In number four, which is the most dangerous one, the fourth effect is that it introduces us or it gives us false doctrines. Praise be to God. Media gives us false doctrines. It can be easy just to like or share anything Bible related. But we need to be careful with this. What I should say here. The fact is not everything that is spiritual, not everything that is Bible related is right. What I should say here. The preachers that we follow you know, nowadays we have a lot of televangelists. We have a lot of speakers. How we follow them, not everyone will take you to heaven. Praise be to God. And even to make it more holy, even when we are seated in our churches, it is good to gauge and meditate what comes or what is spoken to you. Praise be to God. Even us who come into this pulpit, at times we might be uttering things that are false doctrines. Praise be to God. It is up to us as Christians to have a discerning spirit and to discern what is good for my absorption. What is the right doctrine? And if you want to know the right doctrine, go back to the Bible. Praise be to God. It is the right teacher that will tell you everything you ought to do. Before you plant that seed, can you go and read the Bible, what it says about seeding? Before you believe in that prophecy, can you go and read the Bible? What, how does prophecy work? Praise be to God. Because people have misused these things. Amen? They have been misused. False doctrine is everywhere. Churches are mushrooming everywhere. That the Bible talks you shared very well, maybe just an excerpt of some larger talk that is spreading falsehood. You might be seeing somebody begun something somewhere. Praise be to God. It is another funny religious movement. And they posted something and you thought this is wonderful. And because of your ignorance, you just picked it and you posted it. Praise be to God. 1st Corinthians, sorry, 2nd Corinthians chapter 11 verse 13 to 15 says for such are false apostles so meaning the false apostles will be there, the sinful workers transforming themselves into apostles of Christ praise be to God it is in this age that people will come in the name of Jesus it is in this age people will come doing miracles and cooking miracles praise be to God we have seen cases whereby people are using funny methods to win souls to Christ. Praise be to God. And that is why people say that the church in Africa, it is a thousand miles wide but one centimeter deep. Praise be to God. Because we have believed in cooked miracles. We have believed in false prophecy. We no longer want to hear the true gospel of Jesus Christ. We just want to hear the prosperity gospel that you know tomorrow God shall be visiting you. But whenever you hear, turn your ways and go back to Jesus. We say that prophet, that man, doesn't live in the current times. Praise be to God. Lest we are careful, we shall be introduced to false doctrines. 
And first John 4 verse 1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit. Praise be to God. Do not believe what? Every spirit. Not every spirit is right. But test the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. What is this if you? It is good to take your time before you follow that man of God or that woman of God. And this one will even come now even to the world, not even necessarily the social media. The people you call your mentors. Have you ever encountered somebody telling you, I have dead spirit of others? Praise be to God. Okay, from my understanding, you can only be fathered by one. Praise be to God. But you can have so many mentors. Amen. There is somebody who mentors you from because orders comes from one. Bwana Yesu Sifiri. Our sovereign father is God. Bwana Yesu Sifiri. So before you choose to say, this is my spiritual father, my spiritual mother, what did you look at? Praise be to God. Because once you subscribe to that person, it will trickle down. Praise be to God. The grace will trickle down. So what he does is what trickles down. What comes from the Father comes to the Son. Praise be to God. So be very careful. And allow me to dwell here a little bit. People can seem so powerful. Very powerful. Somebody can come on this pulpit and you say, that man is very powerful. But being powerful is not being spiritual. Praise be to God. You can be powerful to the world, but you are not spiritual. Amen. And that is why even us, brothers and sisters, we have gotten it wrong even when it comes to issues with relationships. Because you saw a brother hammering the gospel, you saw a sister singing wonderfully, and you say, that is a woman of God. That is a man of God. And whenever he or she says this, you say, wow, God has spoken. <laughs> Test every spirit. Praise be to God. Test what? Every spirit. You never know. You will believe with me. People have come to church for different reasons. Praise be to God. Not every person comes to church just to worship God. Some of them, they have come there to gain fame. Praise be to God. Some of them, they have come there to get an opportunity to snatch a miracle. In God. Praise be to God. How many people have we seen when they come and their plans fail? They fall and they go back. Praise be to God. And that is why sometimes some I'm surprised and I'm not ashamed to say. I saw Rinton, was it last week? See, he's now done with gospel industry. May God forgive us. Because for what reasons are we? In the first place, Christianity is not an industry. Somebody once said, an industry is all about sales. But ministry is all about souls. Praise be to God. So he has gone back to the world. So the question I will ask him in the first place, what was your reason of being your gospel songs? When I saw the Now that we have looked at secularism, we have looked at how secularism impacts us. And then today we have looked at media. What is the way forward? Praise be to God. What is the way forward? You and I inhabit in a messed up world. That one we must appreciate. As followers of Jesus, it's sometimes hard to figure out how to live in it. Amen. Amen. Uwe na familia yako. Uwe na wale watu wapo wamekuzingira. 
ukifikiria ukimwacha huyu ule uhusiano utakuwa umeharibika basi utafanya nini lakini ukweli ni kwamba ulimwengu huu upo na utasalia kuwepo amen ni sisi tutafute njia na namna ambayo tunaweza kuishi ili kwamba siku ya mwisho arudi kwa Bwana Yesu tutakuwa tayari kumla kwa Bwana Yesu sifio mm-hmm. should we isolate ourselves to keep ourselves unstained should we identify more closely with the world in order to win more people to Christ because I've ever heard people usually say Okay, I know we have youth church, see you. It's not going to can say my youth. And then when I say when I join can say my youth. So, tunataka tufanye vitu kidogo.com ndio my youth wakuje kwa sababu. Praise be to God. Okay, I don't know what is your take, but to me it is not the right way. Praise be to God. The gospel will never lower its standards to accommodate us. It is us to rise up and fit into the standards. Praise be to God. We can never the gospel will never come down. That you know we can dress the way we want because tunataka kuvuta mayuth. Who told you you must somebody must be born again? Praise be to God. Nani alikwambia lazima uhubirie mtu amoke? The word is there to be shared. Whether somebody here so not judgment will come your work is to just confess Christ praise be to God your work is to share Christ so let us not compromise how we evangelize in the name of we are bringing them closer to a point we ruin what is the truth praise be to God it you know I have to it has to sound like this church is powerful so I must preach something that people believe they are lost God there was a move of God in this house. Brethren, given an opportunity to speak before people, just say the truth and God will be pleased with you. Praise be to God. It doesn't matter whether they don't invite you again. It doesn't matter if nobody appreciated what you did, but so long as you've done that which is of God, that is what God wants. If we just have a look at the example of Joseph. Joseph had been betrayed by the brothers, sold to Egypt. But then he remained to be faithful. Amen. Like Joseph, you and I are called to be fruitful. Spiritual people in our world today. Praise be to God. We are called to be fruitful and spiritual people. Remember Joseph's theme. When he was called by Pharaoh to interpret the dream, he didn't go there saying that I know. He said, I can't, but God can. Wow. Are you hearing that? I can't, but God? God can. He submitted to the authority of God. When I was feeling, appreciating that it is God who is the author of everything, Praise be to God. As as Christians, sometimes we can be asked questions by the secular world. How are we? Praise be to God. Why are you behaving the way you are doing? Why are you sounding like what are you too spiritual? Praise be to God. Sometimes you know we can be mocked because of our faith. And some things may not be working and the devil will use that to mock you. And the world will come and tell you now. Now that you are a prayer warrior, where are you? But remember you cannot do it but God can do it. Praise be to God because who is in the world is not greater than who is in me. Praise be to God. The one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world. Praise be to God. Then go forward and shine in this messed up world for the glory of God. Praise be to God. And I usually tell people in everything that you do, always say, let me do it for Jesus. Praise be to God. Everything that you do, may I shine for Jesus. That I'm not doing so that I can shine, but I'm doing it so that Jesus can shine. Praise be to God. 
And always when you find a situation, tell yourself, God, may you glorify yourself through this. Amen. So the way forward, I will give us three things on what to consider in succeeding in a secular world. Number one, you have to be careful little eyes what you see. Praise be to God. Be careful what you do want, what you see. What we look at or what we allow to occupy our time influences us. Praise be to God. And that is why I usually challenge anyone who says, Yes, what I do will one day influence me. Slowly by slowly, the influence is coming. Praise be to God. I'm sure you are not the way you were when you were in 1.1. Praise be to God. When you look yourself, when you look back at yourself at 1.1, I want you to think how you are coming to church. What was your belief in the Bible? How did you carry yourself and see yourself now? Has that God been gracious? He has been. You are raising levels after levels. And your level of rising is not my level of rising. Praise be to God. God works in different ways. Yes, I might look low today, but you never know where God is taking me. I'm God's workmanship, and I'm a work in progress. Praise be to God. Matthew 6, 22 to 23 says, The lamp of the body is the eye. Praise be to God. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body be full of light. Praise be to God. If your eye is good, and we are talking of good in goods. Because, you know, you can, we can look at a lot of things. But it is my eyes to allow to see before it goes into the central nervous system, amen, and then it will be processed, and it is inhabited in the mind. So if I control what I see, then I have control of what influences me. And that is why Job 31 verse 1 says, I have made a covenant with my eyes. Praise be to God. I have made what? A covenant with I've seen people who have gone to a point they throw smartphones and they buy a garment. It looks awkward. Praise be to God. Just to tell the eye. Praise be to God. Because what we see will influence us. Philippians 4.8 says, The kind of light that fills our room, which is our body, our character is what is let in through the eyes. Amen. So, what you allow to see through your eyes, that is your character. Bwana Yesu you. Now, before you judge a brana of being immoral, when you watch those funny dances, you are one of them. That is what it simply says. That is your character. Because by the fact that you are enjoying watching them, it means you are a part of them. Only that you are not doing it. But it is them who are doing it on your behalf. <laughs> Praise be to God. Am I making sense? What you see is your character. They usually say, Where you spend your time? Do you know what I mean? Remember, your eyes are there. I don't know if you are going to go to the house. Praise be to God. What you see. So it means you appreciated the environment. To be honest, right? You appreciated the environment. That is why you decided to let go a restaurant and to go to. You are one of them. Only that you don't have a bottle in your hand. Praise be to God. Point number two on the way forward. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. Praise be to God. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. Just the same, same that Philippians for need. And you'll find that the direction is purity of mind. 
to dwell on those things, we need to be careful not to allow other things that will take away from that. That includes the things we hear. Bwana Yesu sifiwe. Those men that you listen to. Those women that you listen to. Those several videos that you listen to. Unless you are careful, they are influencing you in one way or the other. Amen? They are influencing you. What are the most powerful things we have? Be it in written or spoken for. And finally, be careful little mouth what you say. Amen? Be careful little mouth what you do what? What you say. James 3, 8 verse 10 says, But no man can tell the time. Praise be to God. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Praise be to God. But no man can do what? And again, you go to Proverbs, it will say the same. You go to James 5, it will say the same. That death and life lies in the dark. And those who love it shall eat its fruits. Praise be to God. What you speak, if you speak life, you will earn life. Praise be to God. If you speak evil, you will invite evil. Amen. Be careful of what you say. This is not about how much I post or how much I engage with social media. It is about recognizing that just because I have the right to say what I want does not mean I should. Sometimes I ought to be quiet. Praise be to God. The fact that you have a chance to say what you want to say, it is not a must. Amen. And that is why they say even the peacemakers, as much as you may need to fight back, but it is sober just to allow somebody win for the sake of peace. It doesn't make you remain a fool. Praise be to God. Colossians 4, 6 says, Let your speech always be with grace. Amen. Seasoned with salt, and you may now, you may know how you ought to answer each one of you. Praise be to God. That let your speech always be with grace. What you say, speak words of blessing. If you will not say it in person, why are you typing it online? Okay, it is a question I will ask you. Amen. That thing that you usually easily post on your status, can you say it openly online to people? No, there are some things to do and I want to go Kanisa, we pretend you are crazy, okay? Because we will sound what? And we believe. Like in this okay, our status. Yeah? Ziko nyingi. Why didn't you tell us? Number two, if it does not build, edify, do I really need to say it? Praise be to God. I don't know what you say about that. But in simple terms, what it tells us is, guard your eyes, guard your ears, guard your mind. Praise be to God. The eyes, the ears, and the tongue. There are three things that will either get you out of secularism or get you into secularism. Praise be to God. It is us to be very careful on what we see, what we hear, and what we see. Praise be to God. If you didn't get anything since Friday, I just want you to know those three statements. Let me watch what I see, what I hear, and what I speak. Praise be to God. If you will take that into account, you will live in this secular world to the glory of God. And God will be happy with you. Praise be to God. Let's be on our feet. I just want us to say a prayer of repentance. We will pray. Let us just repent. You know what you have seen. You know what you have heard. And you know what you have spoken. Praise be to God. People might have not been there to see you. But you yourself, you understand. You know what your phone carries. 
you know your Google history, you know your personal character. Is it right with God that if today we came and said, now this is your life and we play your video, will you be happy with it or you will not? In a minute I give you that chance, just go before the Lord and tell God, God I'm sorry. The things I've spoken, the things I've seen, the things I've heard might have not been right with you. I pray, Lord, you forgive me. I pray, God, you forgive me. And God is so gracious. Just speak to God. Be open to Him. It doesn't matter. For God is a God of a second chance. Let us trust in Him. God, we are grateful to you. God, we know our eyes have not been dimmed, our ears have not been right. God, we ask for thy forgiveness. May you forgive us. Heavenly Father, may you be with each and every one of us. Give us the grace to carry on, Lord. Ask for that grace. God is a gracious God. He will give you the grace. 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 In this wicked world, it takes the grace of God for us to remain focused. It takes the grace of God for us to remain Christians as we ought to be. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. We are grateful for thy word. You have spoken to us, O oh Lord. You have followed my Father now reached us. In this wicked world, O oh God, kick of glory. With our flesh, we cannot make it. Because those who serve the flesh shall die. But my Father, those whom King of glory will serve the matters of the kingdom shall live. Help us not to serve the flesh. But as your word says in Matthew 5, that in our God, my God, make us the salt of this earth. Let us be influencers of our environment. Let us be influencers of the people that we, O oh God, relate with. Let us be influencers of the large community. And let us impact this world to the glory and honor of your name. Lord, may you forgive us because we have done things that are not right. And Heavenly Father, as we journey on, may you grace us, Lord. With our eyes closed, somebody is there just... Because again, you need this Jesus in your life. You need God in your life and you say, I'm giving my life to Jesus. It is not so hard to start again. Don't be ashamed, don't be ashamed. I don't know, I will not tell you to raise up your hand, but just wherever you are, you will just say these words because God looks at the heart. You want to make a decision, just say, Lord Jesus, just come back to me, O oh Lord. I'm a sinner, and I've done things that are against you. Heavenly Father, I've realized today that King of glory, I've done evil. Today I make up my mind. I confess Jesus as Lord and my Savior. Come into my life. Change my life. And Heavenly Father, Make me start a new journey with you. I declare I'm born again. And I'm no longer of the world. But I'm of you. In Jesus' name. Father, we bless you for that was made that prayer. May you sustain them, O oh Lord, to the glory and of honor your name. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name.